Hey everyone, it's Sean. Many of you guys have been asking me to do an updated Ultimate Student Guide for the Surface Pro 4. Everything I'm about to show you also applies towards the Surface Book, so let's go ahead and just dive right in. Alright, so let's start with the basics. Sometimes when you're in class, you'll get an assignment, a reading assignment, or a homework assignment to do some reading when you get home. The, the Surface has a really cool narrator feature where you can allow the Surface to read to you. Okay, so for the narrator to read anything that I have on the screen, all I have to do is just select it. My dear fellow, since Sherlock Holmes has we sat on either side of the fire in his... Perfect! So you can see it's just reading away. Now it can be a PDF file, it can be a website, it can even be in a document. So if you're a student and you want to have somebody read to you, well guess what? You can have the Surface read to you. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was this really cool PDF application called Drawboard PDF. Now Drawboard PDF is really cool because it allows you not only to open and read PDF files, it actually allows you to annotate them really well. So you can see here, this is the Surface Pen got palm blocking uh, technology. This is essential if you're a student to annotate the slides. Sometimes professors will give you uh, PDF files of PowerPoint slides ahead of time and as you're listening to the lecture you can go ahead and be taking notes uh, just having something like this something simple something that works for PDF files it's it's just a uh, super valuable now this next one is kind of fun for all you engineering students out there believe it or not this is actually not a TI-89 stuck to my surface this is actually on the surface itself and it's actually a fully functional TI-89 so if you have a calculator, if you have a TI-89 calculator, you can actually load it into your Surface. And I won't go into all the details on the video exactly how to do that, but I do have information in the video description. Now one scenario is you're in class, your professor is giving a lecture, and you're wanting to take notes, uh, both written notes as well as drawn notes, maybe you want to draw some graphs and stuff. But you'd also like to, if possible, record the lecture. Well, in OneNote, you can actually set it up so that you can record both video and audio. So let me show you an example of audio really quick. Okay, so I just hit the record audio. Now it's recording. And I can go ahead and take notes while the teacher is talking. Uh, let's do some text. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit here. Uh, notes, I can start typing and and talking and maybe I can draw a few graphs, you know, if there's any important graphs that I can draw and, you know, other other shapes or other interesting items. And then at the end of the lecture, you know, maybe whatever uh, text that I write, uh, I can go ahead and, you know, end the lecture, okay? So let, let's say that was the entire lecture. Let's go ahead and stop recording. Now, I just want you to listen for a bit. I'm gonna play back. Okay, so now it's recording audio and I can go ahead and take notes while the teacher is talking. Let's say this is really long and you you knew, you saw this chart and you're like, oh, I wish, I wished I remembered what the teacher was saying when I drew this chart. Guess what? Now you can, all right? So when you, when you hover over an image, there's this little play button, okay? So let, let me go ahead and hit play. Game. Whoa. Maybe I can draw a few graphs, you know, if there's any important graphs. Do you see that? Do you see that? Other... So you can go to your chart, it could be an hour into the lecture, you can go to the chart, you hit play, and the teacher will start talking right when you drew that chart, and you can totally understand and remember the lecture. You don't even have to fast forward or try and figure out where it was. You just look at the chart, or look at your notes, or anything. You just select what you want to, to uh, see, and you press the play button, that is phenomenal. Okay, now if you thought that was cool, what I'm about to show you next will blow your mind, okay? If you go into your audio settings, let's see if I can zoom this in, there is an option down here, enable searching audio and video recording for words. Now what that is, is if you have that enabled, it will, if you have that enabled, it will actually listen to the entire lecture or listen to whatever you're recording and it'll understand the words. So if I remember that, man, I know my teacher talked about economics in Africa and he said something cool, but I can't remember where it was. It was such a long lecture. 
guess what? You can go into the search bar and type in economics in Africa and even though it's all in audio, it'll find it for you, okay? It'll find it for you because everything that was said, it transcribes into text. That is awesome. That is awesome. Like I said, I just really wish I had this in school. If you're in school, you are lucky. You are very, very lucky. Okay, so having a powerful calculator on the surface is awesome, but what many people don't know is that in OneNote, you actually have this mathematics add-on that is very, very powerful, and I wanna just show you a few of those features today. So the math add-on is uh, something that you can download from Microsoft. Uh, if you want information on how to download and install that, uh, definitely look at my video description for some more information. So let's go ahead and try a few things here. Uh, let's uh, insert an equation. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write a, a quick little uh, equation over here. Let's say uh, y equals 2x plus 4. Okay, so y equals 2x plus 4. Let's insert that. Okay, so now I've got this inserted. So I'm gonna go into mathematics and then I'm gonna uh, choose graph plot in 2D. And boom, I get a nice little 2D chart that I can interact with. And you can see that uh, I can even go ahead and insert that chart into my uh, note if I wanted to as well. Okay, so that's the chart. Now, what you can also do is you can solve for X. So if I go ahead and select that again, I can go into compute and solve. This will say solve for X or solve for Y. So I can choose either one. Let's go ahead and solve for X. Boom, right down here. X equals Y over two minus two. Now, if you do a lot of math, you know the whole, you know, two equations, two unknown things. So, so let's go ahead and add in another equation. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and type in and write in another equation here. Uh, y equals three X. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. Let's go ahead and select those equations those two equations, I'm gonna go into my mathematics and I'm going to com compute. And this will say solve for x, y now. So if I touch that, boom. Okay, so you can see that it says x equals four and y equals 12. Okay, so, so there's an other stuff that I can do. So for example, I can type in factor uh, x squared minus four. All right. So let's go ahead and select that. So we'll go up to mathematics, compute, calculate. Boom, it just factored x squared minus four. So that's x minus two and x plus two. And I can also do the opposite too. Uh, let's go ahead and put in an equation. Let's do expand. Let's do something tricky, three x uh, minus two. And let's do five x plus three. Okay, so I wanna expand that. Again, we go to the mathematics tab. We go to compute and we do calculate right here. Boom, it just it just expanded that, it just calculated that. So this is barely scratching the surface of what this uh, kind of powerful OneNote tool can do. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you is the ability for you to write any note out and then later convert it into text. All right, so let me write you a little note. So let's go ahead and select everything that I just wrote. And in the menu, you're gonna want to go into your draw tab and you're gonna wanna click on convert. So when I tap convert, I have the option of converting it to math or text. I wanna go ahead and convert it to text. And this says, hello, this is my note. My handwriting is not the best. There you go. Okay, so the last thing that I wanna show you guys today is document scanning. Okay, so if you have homework documents or if you have handouts or anything that you wanna quickly put in your notes, uh, it's actually very easy to do it uh, in OneNote. So in the Metro app of the OneNote, not the desktop OneNote, what you wanna do is you want to open up this touch-friendly menu and go into pictures and select camera. Okay, so now with your camera, you wanna go ahead and scan a few documents in. So I'm gonna take a picture. And you can see it immediately selected, even though it was at an angle, it selected it 
so that um, it would show up in the whole thing. So let's go ahead and take a picture of this document. Okay. After you're done scanning in the documents that you want to scan, you just go down here and you select insert all. And boom! Now all the documents that you just scanned in, okay, all these physical documents are now in your OneNote document. It doesn't matter the angle, you don't have to do any cropping or anything like that. It'll crop everything for you, it'll straighten everything out as if you just took it head on and did some alterations to it. Okay, well there you have it. That was my ultimate student guide to using this Surface 3. I showed you several tips and tricks. So if you found this video helpful, do like it, do share it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and do check out the video description for some more detail on some of the stuff that I showed. And thank you very much for watching today.